Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last episode we left off with an interesting predicament. Uh, we are missing two of my companions in my own army. Uh, Trustin and Damon are, well, they're missing. They're away. Uh, we are in the middle of a siege against uh, Ox Hall with a relatively large army, the King's Army, uh, riding in. Now we have totally demolished their walls, so I'm going to be leading assault. A very different type of assault because, of course, they don't have walls. I am going to be setting myself up with no battering ram, uh, but with all of the trebuchets firing because, well, I want to do the most amount of damage possible. Now, I know that my infantry are going to be absolutely flooding into uh, their castle because they have open walls. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a moment to see if I can't soften up uh, some of their archers because they sure have a lot of them. And shooting and hitting from this distance, if I can hit anything. Uh, maybe I've been shooting the wall the whole time. Yeah, seems to be the case. Uh, raises my... archery uh, quite a bit. So they actually outnumber us, uh, but in terms of the strength of the forces that we have, uh, we definitely hit harder than they do. Um, I'm going to try for the right side breach hole, see if that is uh, any better than the left. Should be probably fairly identical, but uh, no, this one looks like we are getting through. Oh no, there's barricades and everything. What is going on? I can't even see what is in front of me. would love to start to, you know, be able to get a little bit closer. And this, uh, this path is a mess. Doesn't seem to be designed for this many, uh, this large of an army for battle. Barely even see what I'm doing. What? As long as I'm not hitting my own friendlies, I'll just keep firing. Sneaking, I think. Come on, let me up the hay. Let me up. There we go. Oh, most lovely. Yep. something uh, sickly efficient about this. I 
feel like uh, a guillotine god. That's what it is. Oop. That fun ended. All right, let's try again. There we are. They're doing a pretty good job of blocking me when I swing. Uh, well, sometimes. Accidentally hit an enemy. By my own accounting, I missed my target and hit someone else. And I guess you were the second to last one. All right, so 95 deaths. Uh, that's a, a high amount, but in that kind of siege, it could have been a lot worse given that they actually outnumbered us. And I didn't lose... Uh, I'm going to let Arwa go. I didn't actually lose any companions or anything like that, so a uh, huge success on that front. And now I have this city. Now the problem is with this, or I should say town. The problem with this town is it kind of doesn't have walls. Uh, so let's go to the keep, or rather let's manage the town. And we are going to quickly pivot to... Festival and games, so it doesn't lose too much loyalty. And let's uh, go to the tavern district, and we have like 150 something to ransom. It's kind of a lot. Okay, the lower level guys I'm going to get rid of, and then the non Volandians I'm going to get rid of. Maybe the militia as well. Leaving me with not over capacity, that's good. Going to trade. Ooh. That's a very fancy two-hander. Very expensive, but uh, given that my money is in the, the million range, I should not be too dissuaded. Man, these helmets are uh, pretty nice as well. The other thing is we haven't really uh, been able to get white tabard uh, armor for our a lot of our people, actually. Um, do I have everyone in night shields except for myself? No, Damien does not have a night shield. Now, is it a night kite? Yeah, it is a knight, knight's kite shield. Okay, there we go. The amount of damage that his uh, bow does is just absurd. He's got one of those uh, noble longbows. Oh, here, Raptor Talon. Perfect. I was wondering who would be able to use that. All right, so that is a decent amount of trade. Uh, in terms of food, we're good. Um, so, I'm going to wait around for some time. Oh boy. Belthor, Lantanor, what are you doing? 
you are engaging, I'm assuming, to because you expect me to back you up. Um, I wanted to do a town defense, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I'm going to try to push the town defense. Even though it's going to get a lot of people, well, captured and upset. Uh, that last fight leveled up a whole lot of us. Makes sense. Given the sheer volume of combatants. Alright, uh, does... Uh, you're running from Lantanor? All five of them? What... Nonsense is that. Maybe because he thinks that uh, Lantanor is backed by me. So, Drapping Castle, make peace with Kuzate being proposed. Uh, automatically resolved in uh, a few hours. I would I would love to um, just stop the wars abroad. Uh, mostly because I'm trying to, and I've said this a lot, but I'm trying to solely focus on Valandia. And there is no way that I can tell my vassals what to do. Oh boy, you guys are really dumb. Uh, there is something weird going on where they just kept fleeing or something. Alright, well, they got taken prisoner. And you are now defending Veriscand Castle. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to uh, defend a town. I just... It just doesn't really happen for me. Alright, the other question is, uh, where is... Uh, Trustin. Trustin. Where art thou? Let's see. Last seen near Ox Hall. Are you in Ox Hall or something? Because that would be embarrassing if you were and I didn't know it. Uh, no, I don't see you in here. Now, Yanshui and, uh, well, just Yanshui because, uh, Dayman is conscripted. So, Yanshui, I'm going to give you some troops, but I'm going to have other troops to be able to give to Trustin when, if and when I get Trustin back. So, I'm going to give you the non-basic -val Valandians, at least for now, and all the recruits. Uh, actually, give me the recruits back, because I think they will level up under me faster than they would you and instead, I will give you um, some crossbow. So, I don't see Trustin in here. A whole bunch of other people, but not Trustin. And I'm not really sure where Trustin went. I think he had the smarts to back away from the Valendian King. Uh... Make peace with Kuzate, sure. I can't even vote against it. Okay, I am sort of curious about how soon Kuzate declares war on me again, so... Uh, let's take a look at the time. It is the Spring 11. Ah, uh, Trustin's party. There it is. So, I want to defend, uh, Veriscand. Uh, but I really also want to take Trustin back. So I'm going to go to Pravind in hopes to get Trustin. Uh, Vashorki, you've got a uh, holy hell raining down on you soon. Alright, Trapid Castle, I don't care who it goes to. Olipos, sure. Looks like, if anything, Trustin has lost... Oh god, are you gonna get captured by looters? Please don't. Ox Hall is being besieged. That's fine. I I want trust in more than I want Ox Hall. Hey, buddy. Uh, Alright, let me expect your troops. I'm going to dump enough troops uh, into your army that I can bring you back into the fold. Doesn't leave me with, well, it leaves me with actually a pretty good amount. Uh, you just have a bunch of wounded troops. Uh, I want you to join the army. Done. Okay, so we have at least Trustin back. I'm going to head over to Ox Hall. 
And Jacqueline is besieged. And Oxhall is besieged. So Jacqueline is going to fall again. And it's not even from Valandia, which is just ridiculously frustrating. Um, now, the next question is Dayman. Where is Dayman? What is he up to? Whose army is he in? So he is in another army. Um, where is he? So he's been seen last sighted near Marineth. I have maybe Sylvan's army then. That would be make the most sense. Alright, Vashorki did just lose uh, at or near Veriscand. And then... I'm not sure where that army has gone. Oh. Okay. No, that's not Erdogan. Hey, you. Uh... Are you... You were the leader of your clan. All right. Uh, for some reason or other, I can't actually... I guess you're already hired out. <clears throat> I think he's a mercenary, right? He's already hired out, so I, I was trying to counter-hire him, but... Soldier, that didn't really work. I like how there's a bridge here, but it's not... Neither army is going to be on the other side of the bridge. Clicks there. All right. Get firing, crossbowman. I'm going to see if I can't bait them in a little bit. Looks like a bunch of uh, camel. Well, not actually a lot of camel riders. Take that back. Just a few. Oh, let's not stop here, because they're trying to lance me. some of this so I just sent my all my cavalry into charge all right let's uh, pull them back so I don't necessarily need them all charging I just wanted a bit of a rider deterrent Now that their infantry is moving closer to my footmen, or my archers, I'm going to have them close the distance. Oh, that was him. That was their leader. The only vassal on the field. Alright, everybody charge. They don't have anyone left. They just have some uh, bowmen. yard work. Alright, we lost two. Uh, I would say a pretty acceptable number. <laughs> 
took a bunch of prisoners. A lot of them. Uh, let's see. Let's forget the recruits. Even though they're Valandian. And that's one less army uh, to be hounding me, which is good. Now, I know that Jacqueline is under siege, uh, but Veriskin Castle is far closer. And there's Zuran's army. Personally, are you... Are they besieging Oxhall? Okay. Uh, whether they're besieging Oxhall or not, I'm going to head down to Jacqueline because it's actually one that I personally own. Oxhall will be set up with... Uh, I'll take it. I can always gift it out to someone. Especially if I get uh, a vassal that I can recruit. Uh, hey, Caladog. I would love to crush your army. I have a free focus point. Uh, let's see here. My riding, polearm, and bow are maxed. My athletic is maxed. My leadership in... Well, my charm could go up. Uh, but I actually... Yeah, I'll go charm. Val the Vulture just died of old age. How old was Val the Vulture? So that was uh, one of my own personal companions. At least in this case, it was not due to combat. Um, now the thing, another frustrating thing about that is uh, his gear, I think, is probably gone. Yeah. He was buried in it. That's, that's all right. How old was Val? Forty-eight. Oh, well. All right. Never mind. That is just as frustrating. Uh, hi, Kyle Dog. Surrender or die. Actually, you know, don't surrender. Please, just let me kill you on the battlefield. That would be fantastic. Would bring me a lot of joy. And uh, well, that's Dude! that's what I want to now! have happen. Archers! They do have some horsemen coming in. For their sort of like uh, false oopsie, I didn't mean to rush. They tend to do. Yeah, they're all dead. Alright, lining them up. I'm gonna choke up a little bit because there's a big river here that I could use. In fact, it'd be good if I got my archers out of the water. I'm actually going to have everyone fall back because there's really good positioning that I want over here if I can get it. Seeing that they seem to be committing to an attack, I would absolutely love to have the true and honest high ground for once. Archers! Forward! Footmen! Get moving! I don't know if they're going to commit to attack with me sitting up here, but it would be fantastic if they did. I don't know if they're closing. We'll see. Okay, that does not look like loose formation. There's a lot of archers on a hill. 
Oh, and now I'm exiting the map. Let's not do that. Nope, they don't want to push up. That's alright, let's see if I can hit anything from here. I might be able to just... Oh, someone got a kill. It's gotta be a hell of a shot. Then again, having uh, 319 archers and others uh, be firing, you're bound to hit something eventually. Yeah, they're committing to one. I'm going to stay in formation as long as I can. So we really do have the high ground. Let's see if I can't anger. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Anger them into messing with me. Yeah, keep, keep moving. Keep coming. Come on, Kaladog. Just a little bit further, trust me. I'll give you cake. Oh, wow. Thank you, Caladog's Army, for being as stupid as I thought you were. Whoa, okay. Horse is low key defying gravity. I like it. a complete and utter slaughter. I love it. They're trying to shield well, but honestly, there's just simply too many projectiles for them to defend themselves against. And this is incredibly satisfying given how annoying Batania has been. This ratio is... Ooh, there it goes! There we go. Oh, I keep hitting my own horses. Here comes the arrows again. Oh, all the horsemen. Stupid trotter. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, I'm out of arrows, actually. <laughs> I was like, why is this not working? All right, telling everyone to charge now. There's really no point in holding back. Their forces are all but uh, scattered to the winds. So let's get all our guys up here and, well, do as much damage as we can. Come on, Batania horsemen. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. 
That's been true for a while now. Oh, I saw Kaladog get knocked out right at the end. He was like the third to last to get knocked down. Uh, 16. I lost 16 to their 313. Uh, yes. You're my prisoner. You're my prisoner. Hi, King Kaladog. You're my prisoner. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, I do... I do have the ability to execute him if I so wish. Again, I don't choose to be like that kind of leader. Um, but I just wanted to make it clear that that is a possibility. That is something that you are allowed to do. Uh, if you if you so choose. So if I wanted to, I could put him to the axe. And I can show you how to do that. Um, in case you want to play a little bit differently than, than I have been. Uh, but let me make sure that my prison numbers are not overrun. 33. Uh, still need to lose like 10 more, so. 7. Alright, that should be fine, right? Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, well, I have one more than I need. Or than I can have. There. Done. Some war mounts. Nothing, nothing too wondrous in that loot. But decent. Okay, so if you wanted to put someone to death, uh, you would go into your, well, I'm not even doing it right. You go into your party, and you would select the person to put to death, and here it is, execute prisoner. So if I wanted to execute High King Kaladog, I, I could. Um, the penalties for it, uh, if you're wondering, is that, uh, well, to be frank, uh, everybody hates you. <laughs> this is sort of the penalties. Uh, all right, Melos, come join me. Engulther, Aranox. Oh, you guys are free. All right, so I am adding a bunch of new people, and then I'm going to let, uh, I'm gonna let the vassals that were under my employ that uh, had their numbers diminish go. That way they can re-recruit. So Nifon, Materios, and Sachanis, they can leave and um, and replenish their own numbers because I, you know, it's hard for me to do it themself myself. All right, so uh, Aaron. Did take it. Onira's rebels declare. Okay, Onira over here just declared. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. <sighs> Big sigh. All right, so Aaron is still in here. Oh no, he isn't. He just popped out. Try to cut him off. And you put yourself to, to the wall. All right, surrender or die. You took my home. I really hope that again, I kill you. I would love to be able to kill them in fair Fire combat. All right, big open battlefield. No problem with line of sight. A bit of a slope here, if I could stop Watch in time. Let's put my archers from here to here. And then my infantry should not be in their way as a result if I put them in front like that. Let's see if we can't uh, trawl them in, because my ratio of kill death have been great, but only because I 
continue to play it safe. Also, you know, Val the Vulture died, but that wasn't really... Nothing I really could have done about that. All right, stop, stop, stop. Archers! Follow me! Arrows! Move! Footman! All right, so there's good line of sight because the... Uh, as you can see, if I was riding up on them, most of the crossbowmen could shoot me. If I was hostile, because uh, that incline. So let's go piss them off, shall we? So easy to taunt. Hey, if I have to push up, I will. All right, let's do it. Let's plan on it, because it seems like uh, they're not moving much. Pushing up. Archers! Infantry! My infantry's still not in shield wall formation so that they can move quickly. Oh, that's not good. Never come to a grinding halt next to a giant army. Hello. I was behind you the whole time. <laughs> Poor Batanian scouts. I almost feel bad. They're like, wait, what? What trickery is this? Yeah, you're getting wrecked by one woman. So it's, it's the way it goes. Get used, you're used to it. The whole globe gets treated this way. Trust me. God, their horsemen suck. Batanian troops don't know how to couch very well and uh it's showing because i am ripping them up no oh, finally one of them landed oh that's gonna land just thankfully a horse got it not that i want harm done to my horse but better the horse than me right Missed. Well, I've pretty much bit dispatched your entire cavalry. Are you gonna do more? It's like an open field now. Oh, well, Aaron just got knocked out. Too bad he's not dead. I don't know who these guys are and why they split from their group. Also, not entirely sure why my crossbows aren't doing uh, significantly more damage. You'd really think that all of 
hundreds of my crossbows would have these guys. Oh, there's Ardware. He's a ow, ow, ow. Worth it. No, oh, he's just knocked out. Okay, I should armchair for this last bit because I am significantly hurt. Uh, Richard the Stag just knocked out one of their vassals. Oh, you know what? It's because you guys are facing the wrong way. You dummies. It's my fault, but for real. Now, who's this idiot? Just a random Batanian scout? Well, in all my time playing this game, I've never had a situation where my crossbowmen were facing the wrong way. Uh, Not that way! Face the correct direction. There we go. Wait, even my... Even my... Shield walled uh, infantry were facing the wrong way. Clean up the remainder. Yep, they're all fleeing. <laughs> yep, it's clean up, that is. That's okay. It was already over. I lost my horse. Well, that's unfortunate. I've been real mean and nasty to my horse, making them do uh, tank a lot of hits. All right, Adaware. Yeah, I don't know. You're, you're my pr all you guys are my prisoners. Okay, all right. Well, that was a little unfortunate tactics-wise with my back turned to the enemies for a embarrassingly long time, I will admit. Uh, but, it, you know, it happens sometimes. <clears throat> I'm already over prisoner limit. Uh, let me ditch one, two, three. Uh, so I have no horse noted. Game saved. Okay. And before I go anywhere else, give me an Azurai horse with a whatever. Okay. My saddle didn't get lost. That's good. And we are going to ride uh, to recapture Jacqueline. Which shouldn't be that hard. Given uh, there's like no one here. So if we take a look at the balance of power between Batania and I, I have now inflicted, I haven't counter sieged them much, but I've inflicted a ton of casualties against Batania. Against Volandia, again, same deal. And then against Azurai, uh, same deal. Surprisingly, we've had a bunch of counter sieges and all of those counter sieges have been made from my uh, vassals. I have not lifted a finger against Azurai. And uh, this is where we are going to leave off with the recapture of Jacqueline. So I'm not even up territory against Volandia this episode. It has been quite the slog. Uh, the slog because Batania has been attacking us and I've had to defend my territory from Batania while trying to attack Volandia. Oh, it's just, it's just a gem. 
Well, I do hope that I can make some more inroads soon. Uh, the plan is really at this point, just capture all of Valandia and then be done with it. But if you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.